In this video, I'm going to teach you how to find factors of a number less than 100. So let's say, for example, we have uh, find the factors of number 52. So how to find the factors of this number? And first of all, what is a factor? So factors are numbers, pairs of numbers that when you multiply them, you will get the number. So in this example, we have 52. So we're going to find two numbers. If you multiply them, you will get number 52. So the, the easiest factors that we can get for a number is by multiplying 1 and the number because any number multiplied by 1 is this itself. So that means the factors are 1 and 52. So of course, the factors are not just 1 and 52. There are still uh, other numbers and that's why we put space for them because we want to arrange the numbers in order. And obviously 52 must be the biggest because that's the given number. And the bigger, num bigger num uh, the given number is the biggest, of course, as a factor. Now let's find the other factors. So let's try 2. So 2 times what to get 52? So to know that, we will divide 52 divided by 2. So we have 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. Let's subtract. So 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down 2. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 6 times 2 is 12. Then subtract. So you'll get 0. So that means 2 times 26 is 52. So we'll put it there and put the factors 2 and 26. So next, let's try 3. So 52 divided by 3. So we have 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 5 minus 3 is 2. Bring down 2. 22 divided by 3 is 7 because 7 times 3 is 21. Subtract. So we have 1. And we have a remainder 1. That means... Um, 3 times a number cannot be 52 because there is a remainder. So let's try 4. So 52 divided by 4. So we have 1. 1 times 4 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. And bring down 2. 12 divided by 4 is 3. So subtract we have 0. So that means 4 times 13 is 52. So we have factors 4 and 13. So by the way, we don't have enough space for in between 4 and 13. If there is some other factors, then we can put uh, on top just in case. So let's try some other numbers. Let's have 5. So 52 divided by 5, we have 1. And then sub, uh, 1 times 5 is 5. Then subtract. So that's 0. Bring down 2. 2 divided by 5 is 0. 0 times 5 is 0. Subtract. You will get a remainder of 2. So 5 is uh, not a, a factor of 52. Then let's continue. 52 divided by 6. So... It will be 8 because 6 times 8 is 48. And 52 minus 48 is 4. And there's nothing to, to bring down. So uh, 6 is not a factor of 52 because it contains a remainder when you divide it. And let's continue. So let us remove the, the previous solutions because we don't have enough space. So let's continue. So 52 divided by 7. So 7, because 7 times 7 is 49. And subtract 52 minus 49 is 3. So we have a remainder 3. So 7 is not a factor of 52. Then let's move on to 8. And you might wonder when, when are we going to stop? We're going to stop 
when we reach one of the factors of 52 and if we have reached that then that means we're gonna end so while we're still in 8 then we'll, we will keep on continuing finding some other factors so let's divide 52 divided by 8 it will be 6 because 6 times 8 is 48 then subtract we will get a difference of 4 so the remainder is 4 and 8 is not a factor then we'll continue with 9 so 52 divided by 9 is 5 5 times 9 is 45 then subtract the difference is 7 so there's a remainder 7 so 9 is not a factor of 52 then let's continue 52 divided by 10 will be 5 because 5 times 10 is 50 so subtract the difference is 2 so the, the remainder is 2 that means 10 is not a factor of 52 so let's continue we have 52 divided by 11 so it will be 4 times 11 because 5 is 5 times 11 is 55 that's more than 52 so we'll have 4 and so 4 times 11 is 44 then subtract we will get 8 so remainder 8 means 11 is not a factor of 52 so let's erase and let's continue 52 divided by 12 so let's divide this um, it will be 4 because 4 times 12 is 48 52 minus 48 it will be 4 so there's a remainder 4 that means 12 is not a factor of 52 now we'll end up to 12 why because the next number will be 13 and th 13 is a factor of 52 and that means there's no other factors aside for these numbers 1 2 4 13 26 and 52 for the number 52 and that's how you find the factors of a number thanks for watching and i hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section